You know, we're gearing up for Halloween around here and boot at 504. It's a local organization spreading awareness about Halloween, the community coming together, but also a serious topic, domestic violence. Organizers, they're hosting a Halloween extravaganza and money from that event will uh, go toward domestic violence survivors also to spread awareness. Percy Marshan is here to tell us more about how you can come out to support, but this is also a community event for the Girttown community too. Good sir, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. It absolutely is. Uh, my, myself and my family have lived in the Girttown area for over 100 years, and we're just excited to be having things that, that are in our community. Mm -hmm. You know, growing up, we would always have to go on St. Charles Avenue or yeah. Metairie to see the Christmas lights, uh, the big events and things like that. And I th always felt like it was important to have events that are right in the neighborhood that the community could, could benefit from. We're, we're an area that has many, many resources. We have Xavier University, STEM NOLA, Total Community Action, all types of businesses and organizations. But there's been, a, there's been a historically a kind of disconnect in terms of the actual neighbors and the mm -hmm. community utilizing those services. So we're trying to help bridge that gap and bring those people together. And all of them have come together. You know, we've asked them to come in and step up as sponsors. Uh, Xavier's actually bringing that marching band, the cheerleaders, they wrote a check. So mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're getting really, really good on that part of bringing the community stakeholders together to make a difference in the lives of not only the youth, but the adults and seniors in our area. Yeah, because it matters no matter how old you are just to see your community together. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, and, and to tell you the example, uh, the first year I did it, I was going to try to get the street blocked off, and so mm -hmm. you had to go and get everybody's signature. Mm -hmm. And literally, there were like at least four or five neighbors who I had, that was my first time ever even seeing them. Yeah. And that's just the difference in the way the community is. Before, it used to be a lot of people who've been back there for decades and decades, and mm -hmm. their, aunt or their uncle or their grandfather lived in the house before that, but now it's, it, changed, it changes so much that, you know, we wanted to have something that will bring everybody together, get everybody to, to work together. And also spread awareness uh, for domestic violence too, given that October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Absolutely. Last year, uh, after that, the young lady lost her two kids in her mm -hmm. house is the fire. Mm -hmm. uh, Wild Wayne and Megan Andrea approached me about adding a service element to it. I, because Buddha is such a big event, I was I was hesitant at first, but it, just, it, it was a perfect tie-in. Mm -hmm. So this year we par partnered with Help a Sister Out, uh, as well as the New Orleans Family Justice Center. And we're asking people when they come to the event to bring donations of wipes, diapers, household cleaning products, uh, new or slightly used coats or jackets, and those things will be used to benefit uh, those agencies and the people they serve. We're also doing a 50-50 raffle and we're accepting donations. You can go to boodette.com and find out about the event, all of the events. We have a, a huge event. We start at one o'clock on Saturday, uh, this mm -hmm. Saturday, October 26th from, it starts at 1 p.m. We'll have arts and craft, uh, community resource fair, STEM NOLA will be doing STEM projects. We have DJ Ari Spins, free food, and a haunted house, and lots of other things. All right, a lot of good fun going on, but also a good cause, bringing the community together, but also working to end domestic violence here in our society. We appreciate that, sir. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you so much, Brian. And the Budat 504 Halloween Extravaganza, it's this Saturday. If you want to volunteer, find out how you can do that. Learn more about sponsorship opportunities, too. Go to our website, and then we'll link you to that website, budat.com. 748, let's get over to Peyton. And Brandon, it's going to be a gorgeous weekend for anything going on with lots of sunshine and warm temperatures. Now this morning it is cool and our mornings are going to stay cool the rest of, well, we're in fall now, so it's cooler. It's 49 in Bogalusa. That's our chilly spot. It's 69, 20 degrees warmer though at the New Orleans lakefront and 10 degrees cooler there in Galliano with 59. So a wide range of temperatures. We do still have some fog. The fog is fairly thick in Galliano 